Hello, everybody. Let's take a look at problem 3.8 from your textbook. In this problem, let's use node voltage to solve a circuit. So in problem 3.8, we're given a circuit that's shown in the diagram below. It has two current sources and a voltage source. Part A asks us to determine I. I is this current right here that is going down through the eight ohm resistor as labeled. And in part B, we're asked to determine the amount of power supplied by the voltage source. So here is the voltage source. So we're going to check how much power it supplies. And then we're gonna see how much influence does the four amp source, so how much influence does this source have on the circuit to the left of the three amp source. So how much influence does this have on the circuit in this part right here? So on the left side of the three amp source. So let's get started. So first, let's determine the current I. So let's use node voltage and we're going to define the node and that's a, um, a critical node, right? Because there's multiple branches. Let's define that node and let's call it V. Now let's define a ground or reference. I'm going to call it the bottom for convenience. So this part of the circuit at the bottom is going to be the ground or reference. Then I'm going to write KCL in node form. So <clears throat> I'm going to have define this as nothing coming in and everything going out. Remember, we'll always have this equal to zero. So Going out, I'm going to have the voltage minus the six volt source down to the ground divided by this two ohm resistor. So that's the current down this branch. Down this branch is this voltage minus zero because it's the ground or reference over the eight ohm resistor. And then we'll have a voltage minus the zero ground over this eight ohm resistor. And then the last part is the three amp source that's exiting that node. Okay, so we've written a KCL in node form. And I've just uh, highlighted where each one of these is coming from, right? So you can see that the yellow part, this part of the KCL on the node voltage equation came from the yellow part, the green, and so on. Okay, now let's solve this equation. <clears throat> And if we solve it, we can see, right, we have one equation and one unknown. So let's simplify it down and we see, well, okay, the volt, the node, which we called V up here in red, is actually equal to zero volts once we solve this. Now, <clears throat> since V is equal to zero volts, we can see that the current I is also going to be equal to zero, zero amps. So for part A, the answer to this is that there is zero amps going through that branch. Now let's check how much power is supplied by the voltage source. So we should figure out how much current is in that branch. How can we do this? Well, we know now what the node voltage up here is. <clears throat> and we know this battery. So let's call this current that's going through this battery or voltage source, let's call it I prime. So if we take the voltage minus <clears throat> the six volt battery down to the reference divided by this two ohm resistor and solve for the current I prime will get minus three amps. So by convention, we have a minus three amp entering the plus terminal. So we can say that the power is equal to the current entering the plus terminal multiplied by the voltage. So minus three amps multiplied by six volts is equal to minus 18 watts. Since the power is negative, that means the battery is supplying that power to the rest of the circuit. 
Now in part C, we analyzed node V. So we can see that there was actually no effect of the four amp source on this left side of the circuit. All right, thank you. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.